Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a process video with Turtle Crafts July kit. So this is a really bright, fun and vibrant kit. So I've really kind of played up to that today with this layout, which is a completely mental layout, <laughs> mental. So I've started here with some white uh, gesso. This is Liquitex gesso and I'm just spreading it across the page with a palette knife because I'm going to use lots of water on this page and I didn't want, um, you know, I wanted some time to move the colours that I'm going to use around um, without them kind of just seeping straight into the paper. So I'm using these Lindy's Magicals. Um, these are flat Magicals, so they don't have any shimmer in them. Um, and this set is called Caribbean Cruise. So the kind of colours I'm showing, showing you are Pineapple Paradise, Caribbean Blue, Hibiscus Rose, Luscious Lime, and Mango Mania. So I'm starting off here spritzing with just a range of water sprayer. I mean, any water sprayer will do, won't it? You could get one from the garden centre made for orchids or something, can you? Um, but and then I'm using some Mango Mania and I'm just literally using a fan brush and sprinkling these kind of highly pigmented powders over the top. The colours in this Caribbean Cruise set just matched with the Turtle Crafts July kit so well. Um, all the papers that I'm using are from Heidi, um, Heidi Swap and um, they have a lot of the same sorts of colours in them, greens, orange, blues and pinks, anyway. So then I've added some Luscious Lime which is just a beautiful green colour, really love that. And then I sprinkle a little bit of Pineapple um, Paradise on but you can't really tell, I think it kind of blended in so well with the green and the orange that you don't really notice that there's any yellow on this layout really and yeah just sprinkle 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 spray 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 <laughs> that's the uh, process for this and um, it's looking mental and it really doesn't get any less mental as the time goes on now I'm just adding some of that hibiscus rose again splatter it on I think I'm going to spray again in a minute, but maybe after I've added Caribbean Blue. But these colours are really, really nice. And there's loads of different ways that you can use these magicals. I really like this way because it's just fun. Um, I love spraying it over the top like you're going to see now. And the colours just bleed as it reacts with um, that pigment powder. So they're just really, really good fun. <laughs> uh, but you can mix them with um, uh, modelling paste or um, water them down and kind of, what's the word I'm trying to use, paint them on almost like a watercolour. So here I, I couldn't be bothered to wait for it to dry um, and I thought it was a little bit insanely vibrant so I took um, a paper towel and just got rid of all the excess water and a lot of the colour from, from that. Um, and then I'm just going to cut out this cool zigzag paper. So. I saw um, Melanie Roach from the design team, she had shared a layout that she had done where she had cut the paper like this and I thought it was really good so I just totally stole it, <laughs> stolen from her entirely but I will link her Instagram account down below so you can go and check her out if you're interested or if you're a Turtle Kit subscriber you can see what other members of the design team have been uh, kind of creating. Um, yeah, so I'm just cutting this out. I kept getting really confused with this as well and cutting the wrong sections. So yeah, it took a little bit of editing. Oh, I keep nearly yawning. Ooh, I actually just did yawn. I always find talking to myself makes me yawn. <laughs> so every voiceover is, you know, just yawn, yawn fest. And then I'm adding, adding some white splatters with a ranger spray ink. Um, yeah, I love this white splattery ink. It's like perfect for good big splatters as well. I feel like I found a way. You like raise it up really high and then whack it down. <laughs> um, and then I'm scrapping, I'm running out of pictures really. I've got, need to order a load more from Snapfish. Um, I'm still documenting things from last year with just leftover pictures that I've had. So this is a ra really random layout about flip-flops. Um, this is going to go in my Sri Lanka album because these were a picture of the flip-flops that I wore um, 
while we were out in Sri Lanka. I've worn them since as well. I mean, they're not strictly Sri Lankan flip flops, but um, and just talked a little bit about the weather and how nice it is to wear flip flops, how free your feet are. Don't know. Maybe you feel passionate about flip flops too, or maybe I'm just a freak of nature. But <laughs> so I've mounted it on some green paper from the kit, and then just on some white paper, and I've made it so the white paper is a little bit wonky. And I'm not using tons of tape behind here because, to be honest, I just couldn't really be bothered. <laughs> so um, I'm just sticking a little bit of tape on those points there that are going to be at the top, I think. And then I'm going to stick it down. And sticking it down. Turned it round to see, but no, nah, I liked it this way. Um, the only trouble, yeah, is when you do a bit of mixed media, you end up curling up the corners, don't you, or the edges of the paper. The gesso stops it warping quite as much, but it does still warp. Um, and then I'm going to use some foam tape behind this picture. You can see here I just used a scrap piece of white paper. And then I'm just going to stick that down. And then I'm going to add my title and I'm using some white foam um, faux thickers I'm calling these. These are from Hobbycraft. Um, so if you are in Hobbycraft at any point, uh, UK people, you'll be able to find um, some of these cool white, really cheap um, foam uh, letters that um, are just really nice. I really like them and they're much cheaper. Uh, so I just spelled out flip flop. Then I'm going to add one of my um, artist trading coins that I made in my last video. I'm going to link that video in a card up here and in the description box down below if you would like to have a look at that. Um, obviously as someone who is, well, you might be able to clearly tell from the explosion of colour in the background of my layout that I am somewhat new to mixed media but I've been trying my hand at a few different things and yeah, I'm probably not going to be doing any swapping of artist trading coins, but I thought they might be fun to include on a layout. So this one matched all of the colours, um, so I thought it was a good opportunity to use it. Then I'm just adding some little um, enamel dots. These actually came in the June kit for Turtle Crafts, um, and I'm just adding those along the bottom of the photo because there was a lot of space at the bottom of that photograph. And then I'm using these Heidi Swap um, stickers word stickers they're clear with a gold shimmer lettering and i've chosen fabulous and fantastic and i've just added those to the layout so it's like flip flop fantastic fabulous so many f's <laughs> i was having a look for some other words and i couldn't really find any again these came in the july kit again they're highly swap and they are like puffy plastic kind of stickers so I added a heart and two stars to the layout um, and then I'm going to do my journaling so I've written my journaling with these cool artist artista pens I don't know how you say it um, they have like um, a brush pen on one end and then ordinary almost like a gel it's not a gel pen I don't really know how to describe what it's like it's a weird nib <laughs> Um, but yes, they have a, you know, a writing sort of nib at the other end. And yeah, I just got out some of those colours to match the ones that were in the layout and in the mixed media. So there's some orange, pink and green. I didn't use the red in the end. Um, and then I'm just cutting these out um, as journaling strips. And then I'm going to stick them down in a kind of wonky fashion. So I think I'm going to skip ahead in a second because I did kind of like six pieces of journaling. Um, but yeah, there you go. So there's actually three I showed you and three I did and cut out because it was just boring to watch. <laughs> and then I'm just going to stick them down and just because it was around I'm using glossy accents. I don't normally use that to stick stuff down really. I don't really like to waste it because it's quite expensive and I've got, you know, cheaper glues that I normally use. But um, it happened to be on the desk so I'm just sticking that all down. Um, and I really like how it's looking and then I found this little triangle from where I'd cut out the shapes um, and I've just added that at the top because it just 
seem to create this line. So you've almost got like a asymmetrical cross, is that right? I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's, that works. <laughs> um, running across the page, so you've got the central part and then you've got like a um, vertical kind of column running down as well. And then I'm just getting the rub-ons here, again that were in the kit, part of the Insta kit by Heidi Swap as well. And I am, for the first time ever, this is literally the first time I have ever used a rub-on. So I'm using the palette knife to rub over the top and I'm just adding these two hearts to it. Because I was saying how much I love flip flops. <laughs> Which is such a weird thing to journal about but I mean it was fun and that background just looks like a crazy party you know I was thinking after it might be really good to do a layout with um fireworks but okay thanks for watching <laughs> see you in my next video um bye <laughs> please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching